Hello, my name is Andrew Glusick. This is my demonstration project for MAE 535, Design of Electromechanical Systems. So today I'm going to demonstrate how capacitors can be used to measure the thickness of films. In this case, standard printer paper. So I have a capacitance meter, two parallel plates that can be formed into a capacitor. Um, you don't have to worry about the size difference between the plates. That's just what I had laying around. I have screws and washers to mount these two plates at a small distance from each other without touching. I have pieces of paper which have been cut up to fit nicely inside my capacitor. And I have calipers to verify my results. My capacitance measurement setup is fairly simple. It's just two flat plates of aluminum with painter's tape and then aluminum tape on top of that. Painter's tape insulates the capacitor from the metal plates, and all I have to do is attach my capacitance meter leads to little tabs on the aluminum tape, mount it up so that the washers form a small gap, and insert my samples into the gap for measurement. I view the change in capacitance on my capacitance meter. And I can use that information to calculate a rough thickness of these films. Okay, so I have my capacitive thickness measurement set up. I have six pieces of paper. I'm using six pieces so I can get more signal output and less influence from that noise that's present in my cheap capacitance meter. So it's reading about 2.5, 2.6, not 2.6. And I insert the paper into the gap. I have the width of the paper measured and the length that it will be extending through the capacitor measured. And I'm up to 26 point... Twenty six point two picofarads. I say as it continuously changes. Let's call it twenty six. So now that we have data, it's time to analyze it. The top equation on your screen is the formula for capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. K is the relative permeability of the dielectric in between the parallel plates. Epsilon naught is a universal constant. A is the area of the plates, and D is the distance between them. Then on the bottom, we have how capacitors add in series. You can think of two different dielectric materials between capacitor plates as different capacitors in series. So we'll use the bottom formula to add up their contributions to capacitance. When you combine the formulas on the last slide, you get that D, the thickness of a single sheet of paper, is equal to epsilon naught times the area of paper that is in the electric field of the capacitor times the quantity of the relative permeability of paper minus the relative permeability of air, all of that over the number of sheets of paper times the change in capacitance observed when you insert the paper into the capacitor. Here you have all of the values recorded during this test. You can see that the relative permeability of paper does vary a bit depending on which source you use online, so I'll just be using an average of 3. Um, using this calculation method we got a thickness of a sheet of paper of 0 0.13 millimeters, which compares fairly well to the caliper measurement of 0.11 millimeters. When you account for the range of relative permeability listed for paper online, you find that the thickness measurement obtained with the capacitive method is well within the error bounds of the measurement obtained by calipers. With that, we have demonstrated how a fairly simple capacitor setup can be used to accurately measure film thickness. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thanks for watching.